Hello there, everybody. My name might possibly be Borch. We're back with I Am Bread, and they've got a new freaking update! I was hanging out in DT Phase's freaking stream, and he was like, oh yeah, I Am Bread has a new update. I'm like, what? Steam needs, like, a, a new, like, good way of letting you know when your game is update, because I had no idea! I went, like, days without knowing that I Am Bread up updated. I might have never known if I'd never heard it from DT. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, alright, we got the garden, new level, we got a new game mode, free roam, which I'm pretty sure just makes it to where, like, you don't take damage so you can just explore and go everywhere you want without fear of, you know, losing the game. Pretty nice, not something I'm too interested in myself, and Rampage, which, not too sure about that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, uh, as, uh, per usual, oh my god. This is turning into a full-fledged game, man, really, really quickly. Like, the price point for it is, like, making more and more sense as they add more and more content. It's kind of cool, honestly, how they work with early access, you know? Alright, so do we want to try out Rampage first, or do we want to try out the new level? Let's try out the new level first. Garden. Going outside for the very first time. A bread. Out in the wide, wide world. Alone and fragile. But alas, we shall conquer all that stands before us. So how are we going to toast ourselves outside? I would guess, my first guess would be like a grill, perhaps. Maybe uh, an air conditioner, you know, in the outside, in the backyard. You know, I, I had one of those. Oh man, that's, that's some low music. Granted, it's just a symbol right now. All right. That's some weird frame rate issues. That might be on my side, honestly. I don't know. Something seems weird about the frame rate. Anyway, let's get a look around here. So it looks like we're in a front yard that has a fence around it. That's... This is new to me. I've never seen something like that where you park your car in the front yard and like... This looks like a backyard, but it's a front yard. Oh my god, my mind is blown. So we got sunflowers. Can we do anything neat with the sunflowers? Yes, of course we can. Can we break the game with the sunflowers? I don't believe so. They don't seem well. No, actually, maybe. <laughs> oh man. Alright, just experimenting with the sunflowers, seeing if there's anything fun that we can do with it. Man, so many things to explore. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, oh, man. Gotta get used to the controls of Iron Bread once more. Oh! Last second save, very good. Alright, where do I want to go? Yeah, let's go over there, why not? Things being a little bit hard to see here. Okay. It's kind of hard to, uh... Am I to assume that this would hurt me? No, it doesn't. It's just there. Interesting. Alright, first of all, let's get our grip back. Don't want to go tumbling. I can't do, like, my trick with, like, well, I kind of can. Alright, I kind of can. I was t about to say that I can't do, like, my speedrunning trick with, like, the fast, uh, walk, but yeah, there we go. So, it just... On certain surfaces in I Am Bread, you can't really... I didn't know I could go on top of it. Oh, 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 no, you can't. Okay, I keep you out with an invisible wall, it's just wind. Fair enough. Alright, we got tools looking like... Also, I want to point out that we did not start out with a piece of bread. This is one of the only uh, levels that does that. Which tells me that the, uh, the developers were fed up with us speedrunners breaking the levels that way. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, fuck. Fuck. 
Okay. Oh, oh freaking hell, man. Okay. Ah! Come on, you can do this. Yes. Still no signs of intelligent life on this place. Not that you really expect to see intelligent life in I Am Bread. But, hey, take what I can get. Uh, what's that? A satellite dish? The car's gotta be something, right? I mean, like, I can't imagine how you would turn it on as a piece of bread without the car keys, but there's there might be something there. Maybe, you know, the engine is cooling down, you can just stand on top of the hood, have something happen that way. It's actually a pretty big level, too. I mean, like, how far up can I go here? Pretty dang far. Also, I think I forgot about my grip there completely. So I wasn't keeping an eye about it. No! Oh well. Anyway. On our merry way here. Bird feeder? What the hell? What is that? They look like potatoes! Who feeds birds potatoes? <laughs> oh my god. And of course, with the great music that Iron Bread always brings us, brings us together. Uh, it, it, mm, there we go. I want to see if I can get on top of the roof. Like, part of the fun of such a level as this. This is just seeing if you can get on top of the roof. Oh my god, you can. Kind of. I'm like, how far will it let me go before it just shunts me off? Oh yeah. The, uh, the roof just like slides you down like immediately. You know, there might be some speedrun stress to be had with the wind. If you can get it, like, going a certain way, that might be something to think about. That might be cool, actually. Ah, fighting the wind! Okay. So where do we want to go from here? Oh, hey, there's a grill! As I thought. It, come on, I'm stuck. No, I'm stuck. Let me out. There we go. Ah, glitch through. Amazing. Uh, the modelers at I Am Bread showing their expertise once more. Alright. <laughs> kind of want to see what's up in the up with the car. And of course, it's got books in it. We gotta go check it out, right? Ah, that hurts. Oh, bird poop. Fair enough. Uh, that would indeed make me less edible. Alright, what are the titles of this shit? Uh, Encyclopedia, Beauty and the Yeast, The Grain Bow. Oh, bossa, 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 bossa. How we love you. Alright. So there's a grill, you can probably do it that way. There's gotta be, like, at least two places that you can toast yourself. But, for where exactly they are, I didn't know. There's no open windows, it looks like, so I don't think that we could actually get into the car. Unless we can get into the skylight, but it's got glass on it, so how would that work? Unless we can break it somehow, that might be fun. It doesn't, you know, there was nothing toast ourselves in in there. I don't know. I'm always on the lookout for what you can toast yourself with. And then we can figure out, you know, what the, uh, the speed run strats are from there. Very interesting car noises. 
I don't exactly disagree with the choices, but very interesting car noises indeed. Maybe like an old time car? You know, like the steel frames and whatnot might make that sound if you're climbing over it. Eh, that makes sense. To a certain degree. Anyway, let's go ahead and see how hard it is to turn on this grill. If we can at all. I mean, like, if we can't use the grill, I'm going to be really confused. I suppose that's part of the fun, is figuring out exactly how you turn things on and what you can toast yourself with. Even if you know, it's always going to be something that you can do it with. If the mechanism is, like, on the bottom, that's going to piss me off. A fair degree. There's nothing down here. There's freaking nothing down here. God damn it, Vasa. Why do you do this to me? Why do you let me go through these trials and tribulations in search of toast? In search of being the one toast that I know that I can be. Oh, the best of the best. Ah, fuck. No! matter. I can take a little bit of damage. We are strong! Oh god damn it. Okay, let's get the hell up here because this is where the magic is going to be happening. Ah oh, boy. Is there like a lighter or something? Like really? Unless maybe there's something on the that shelf up there that we can use that we can like toss down into the uh, grill. That might be an idea. Let's go ahead and see. We have all the time in the world. Oh my god! There we go. Oh matches. How? Are we going to strike those matches being as we are? Man. Okay. Okay. This feels awkward without the music. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, I can toast myself on that. Or I can try and like... That's kind of interesting, too. Alright. Take this. And then, yeah. There we go. Is that gonna do it? Ah, it did fall quite into it. I just want to get the grill going, man. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be incredible. God, what a hard thing to do, though. I wonder what the, uh, the world record is looking like for this thing right about now. Behold! <laughs> the toe, the piece of bread, wielding a matchstick! And there we go. Amazing. Probably toast yourself in no time flat right here. Wow, really? That's slow. Slower than I ever would have thought it would be. Holy crap. Man, got to find better ways of toasting ourselves. So there's got to be other ways of doing it, too. And of course, you know, maybe uh, actually toasting ourselves just on the matchstick itself might be faster, but I don't know why it would be, you know? God, that's slow, especially since you can't really get over there very quick. I, uh... I want to quit, and I want to see, like, the, uh, the speedrun record for this level. See just what we're looking at here. I'd imagine that it's actually pretty slow. Most of the levels, I'm finding that the uh, the devs seem to be making it like uh, harder and harder to uh, get the speed runs on them, so that it's longer and longer. Like obviously in the first level you can get 12 seconds, but in Garage you can only get like a minimum of 37 seconds, possibly 30 seconds if you really optimized it. 
Oh god, are the leaderboards going to cooperate with me? Ugh, I've been having such a problem with this shit. They're not going to cooperate with me, are they? Oh god, boss, all your leaderboards. Ugh. And, and just the fact that, like, I, I will stay on that screen, and it will just never load. It says it's loading, but it will never load. I will, I will stay there for, like, minutes upon minutes. Never load. So, I feel that that's a, uh, a little bit of false advertising there. Oh, let me see. What other ideas are there for toasting? Jesus, hell. I don't know. I'll probably figure out the rest on my own, actually. Unless I can see something. But I don't think... That I'm going to be able to see, like, another way of doing it. Oh boy. Well. That happened. Uh, that might actually be an idea, though. I don't know. Definitely, you might want to try out uh, the garbage cans and see how much of a fling you can get off of them. Is there anything in the pond? That might be neat. Just put something in like the middle of it that you could toast yourself on. But as far as we can tell, that isn't actually the case. Maybe if there's something like... So you toast yourself pretty quick. So that's something to keep in mind. Alright. I just want to try one more thing, I guess. I want to try, like, the car engine. And then we'll move on to, like, another mode here. See what Rampage is all about. Sounds pretty fun, actually. Oh... Like the old arcade game, it's gonna be exactly like it. A giant piece of bread rampaging across the city. Be amazing. Be a bestseller. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Damn it. Alright, let's just go on to Rampage mode then, everybody! And the episode off with something fun, after all. If the game will stop crashing when it's loading. It's pretty bad when your game cra just about crashes when it's loading something. But, oh well. Early access. It happens. Alright, let us check out... Rampage mode. Cause that sounds interesting. Oh god damn it's on kitchen. That means that I can't actually complete the level. Smash everything. Whoa, hey. Alright. Oh fuck. Whoa, this thing is I thought that this would be a lot heavier to control than it actually is. It's also interesting in that there's only two control points for it. I'm just racking up points on the Jenga thing, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Yes! Oh my god, this is so fun! Yes! The flying apple! Come on, come on, get out of the wall! Get off the wall, man! are so light oh new favorite mode oh my god it's so light I can go everywhere with this 
Ah, oh, boss, you're amazing. Screw this piece of furniture in particular. Oh, you got a two-minute timer to actually smash, like, everything that you possibly... I only smashed one thing? What, really? You can do better than that. Indeed, I can. So, what was all the point stuff for? Unless all of that was point multipliers. And then you want to go for something else on it entirely. I'm not sure what exactly you would want to go for, but hey. God, your fall distance. You have so much reach. You can actually make yourself go a lot farther than you normally can. God, the, the control. It's so fluid. You just... I'm going nuts over here. This is amazing. Alright. I know I can break that br butter thing. From experience. Oh my god, it's so glitchy. I love it. So do you lose anything by being on the uh, the floor? I mean, like, does it matter? I don't think it actually matters, so it's just, you know, more timed than uh, survival. <laughs> this thing is so light! I could- I'm light as a feather, man! Oh, what, what happens with the rocket, though? Oh my god, I can climb so fast! This is literally like the funnest thing in existence right about now. No, I must know what happens with the rocket! Damn it! Well, I gotta see at least. Man, you can do a lot, though. You will be able to do a lot in these levels. Especially, god, in Garage with all the boxes and everything. If you gain points for knocking over the boxes, that'll be great. Alright. So, first things first, we want to knock over the Jenga Tower because it gives us a shit ton of points, actually. Uh, knock over this. Oh, screw your class and all that it contains. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> oh my god. So great. So glorious. Oh, uh, you gain. Oh my god. I just gained points for just freaking touching the chair. So I assume then that, yeah, they will be adding points into the boxes. Man, Garage is going to be so fun with this mode, because all the freaking crap that's in the way. Alright. The moment of truth. No, I want it. There we go! Off with the rocket we go! Come on, let's go somewhere. Let's go. Let's control it! Yeah! <laughs> oh no, it's glitched. Oh no. Wait, there we go. Yeah! Man, trying to control this thing is like trying to control a freaking bull. Can't do it. You can try and do it, but you won't be able to do it for the most part. Uh, no! Damn it. I still don't quite understand, like, how exactly the points work out. 
in this mode, I don't understand, like, what you're supposed to go for. Smash things. Like, I am smashing things. I'm smashing all the glass. I'm smashing all the things. Man. More knowledge will have to be gained, I think. But I think this episode is long enough. So thank you all for watching. We're going to have some fun times here, I think. I'm going to have some fun times, like, experimenting with this on my own time and seeing, like, exactly... You know, let's try one more time before we end the episode and let's see if the leaderboards work for us. Because I would love to see what exactly we're looking at in terms of the garden and in terms of kitchen for rampage mode. But... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's actually going to load for us, unfortunately. <sighs> it, it disappoints me and it saddens me, honestly, just how bad the leaderboards are for this game. You know, I can't even load it now, never mind the fact that it had glitches to where, you know, it wasn't actually saving your best time or your best score. Oh well, ending off on a sad point. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next video.